Let's give God a hand of praise. Amen. 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 Thank God for our new friend, Maria. It's Maria. Let's give Maria a hand of praise. She's taking care of Mama tonight. So we're going to be quick. It's 7.15. I just want to encourage you, as we were talking about the song, said about uh, Make Me the House of Prayer. May the fire on my altar never burn out. And that fire is that burning. That fire is the strength of God. You cannot minister to people when you on eat. Amen. Let me say that again. You cannot minister effectively to people when you're on E, meaning empty. E. Everybody say E. That's like trying to drive your car and it's on E. You're going to get stuck somewhere. Amen. So it says, may the fire on my altar never burn out. We're responsible for keeping our own fire burning. We're responsible for keeping our own spirit built up by praying and being in corporate prayer like as of tonight and keeping yourself built up because there's so many things that will come to drain you of your strength. Yes, amen. So it's up to us, just like we feed ourselves naturally, it's up to us to feed ourselves spiritually sure. as being the house of prayer. Amen? amen? So I just want to give you some pointers on um, being prayer servants. Look, I'm going to teach you tonight on prayer servants. Say prayer servants. Prayer prayer servants. We are prayer servants. Yes, yes. When, we, uh, when we on our jobs, mm -hmm. we're prayer servants. In the school, we're prayer servants. We are to be the facilitator of God's presence. We bring God's presence wherever we go. Amen. Say, I facilitate the presence of God. Amen. So when you pray for someone in the grocery store, when you pray for someone on your job, you're, you're not praying just to, to, to pray, but you're praying bringing God into their situation. Bringing God through healing, bringing God through encouragement, bringing God through strength, bringing God through hope. Right. Amen. We live in a very hopeless society. Very Amen? Amen. Amen? So we want to be carriers of God's presence. Even as we have um, other ministries in this place, in uh, Tuesday morning prayer ministry, Compass School of Ministry all around the world, Compass Global Amen. Ministry, different ministries, we are to facilitate the presence of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Break it down. Amen. Ministries, if... If, if, if a church or a ministry doesn't represent the presence of God, you might as well close it up. Wow. Amen. Amen. Because if it doesn't bring the presence of God, Brother Billy, if it doesn't bring the anointing about the power, the presence of God, you just got legalistic church. Yep. You just got going through the motions. Yep. Right. Yep. So that's why when we come up to prayer on Saturday nights, so that we on Sunday mornings, it's like, you know, okay, I come ready to speak. I come ready to teach, but we want to press into the presence of God because the presence of God at the time might not be on what I have prepared. Maybe God wants to come in and do something supernatural. I don't know what you need, but the Bible says the Lord knows what things we have need of even before we ask. Yeah, amen. amen. So the things that, that you may be going through, you may need that breakthrough through prayer. You may need that breakthrough from just walking around and engaging in the Holy Spirit. So uh, that has to be key in our service is the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Not a church bulletin, and that's all good and, and handy and dandy. Right. But if it ain't bringing no breakthrough, you need to throw that bulletin away. Come on now. Amen. Right. Because we want to find where God is. That's right. Amen. And you want to press it. How do we find out where God is, Pastor Mark? We find out where God is through prayer. Amen. So we start. how do we start every service? We start it out in prayer. So we can navigate and see which way the Holy Spirit wants to move. How can you say that you should start in prayer? Because the word of God says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Oh, yeah. Lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge Him. How do I acknowledge Mr. Beverly? Right. I acknowledge Him when I pray. Right. I navigate through prayer. Right. And all my ways, I acknowledge Him. I'm, I'm acknowledge Him as I pray. And what will He do as I pray? He'll direct my paths. Right. What does He say? Ask and it what? Shall be given. Yes. Seek and ye shall find. Yes. And when you ask in prayer, that's prayer. When you ask, that's prayer. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. When you're asking, you're praying. Ask and it shall be given. Pray and it shall be given. Seek through prayer and you shall find. Yeah. Knock and the prayer shall be opened unto you. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And then we know, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask or pray anything according to his will, what does he do? He hears us. Amen? So that's why everything that we have to do as leaders... Um, in, our, in other ministries that are represented here, it's so vital that we take time to pray. The enemy, if the enemy can keep you from praying, he can keep you from going forth. Come on now. Yes. Wow. Now. Y'all got quiet. Yeah, if he can keep you from praying, he can keep you from going forth. If he can keep you from praying, he can keep you from victory. If he can keep you from praying, he'll keep you from peace, joy, strength. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. 
Because prayer, that's our power source. God, I'm going through this situation right now. I don't know what to do, but I need to get to you so I can find out which way to go. Right. We're led and guided by the Spirit of God through prayer. Any business, ministry, church, whatever you do, it's got to be, it's got to have the foundation of prayer. Amen. Not fundraisers. Amen. <laughs> Not fish fries. Right, right. You're right. You're right. Not covered dish dinners through prayer. Through prayer. Because I need God's heart. I need God's heart. I need God's help. I need his presence. I, I need the signs, wonders, and miracles of God to be present. I need the supernatural move of God. So how do I get that supernatural move of God? I get it from releasing it through prayer. And not from prayer of, oh God, my name is Jimmy, give me, give me, give me. No, but we pray from a place of victory. We play, pray from a place of what God has already done. So do we have to beg God for healing? No. Why? Because he, the Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we're healed. It's already done. Yes, so we don't have to. We don't have to. Pray. When we pray, we pray from a place of victory, saying, "God, I thank you uh, for healing. I thank you that you're my healer. I thank you, Lord, that you were wounded for my transgressions. You were bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace is upon you, and with your stripes I am healed." I may feel the symptoms. But by your stripes I'm healed. I may feel some discomfort, but by your stripes I'm healed. Why? Why do we say by your stripes? Because His Word says it. You have the Word to back you up. Right. And if the Word backs you up, that means all of heaven is backing you up. <laughs> if it's not in the Word, I don't know who's backing you. You don't have no backing. Amen. Amen. It, you don't have to beg for your needs to be met because he said, I will supply all of your need according to his rich and glory by Christ Jesus. You don't have to beg and ask God, beg him for peace because he said he would keep you in perfect peace as you keep your mind stayed on him. So I want us, as we pray, we want to pray from a place of victory. Pray from a place of the finished work. Amen. So I'm going to release two types of prayer real quick and then we're going to uh, pray. I want to I release two ways to pray. Number one is petitioning. When you petition God, you're praying to God. Say petitioning prayer, petitioning prayer. is praying to God. So that means you are asking God to do something. A lot of times petitioning is for us to build up the faith to see a miracle. So we're building ourselves up. We're petitioning God. We're asking God for something. And that's in line with God's word because it says, asking it shall be given, seeking you shall find, knocking it shall be opened unto you. So we're to petition. The second type of prayer I want to talk about is commanding. Say commanding. Commanding, commanding prayer is a different prayer. It's praying from God. Y'all didn't get it. Commanding is praying from God what he's already done. His commands. By his stripes I'm healed. So you're releasing what he's already backed up in his word. Petitioning is asking God for something. Amen. So commanding is praying from God. You are sending a command from God. Often you do not need to build up the faith as it is already there. You can simply command a disease to go in the name of Jesus. Just release that command. Release the command. So when I when I prayed for William tonight, I didn't say, oh God, if I release the command. I release the promise of God because William Jr. is a believer. So I release continued healing and continued flow in his body. Amen. And that's what we all call to do. We all are called to command. I had a funny thing happen this week. I was at work and one of my clients, he went up here to go to the restroom. So he kept coming. He came down and says, oh, my leg hurt. My leg hurt. I said, let me lay hands. Let me lay hands on his leg. So I lay hands on him. I said, where's your leg hurt at? He said, it hurt right here. So I laid my hands on him. I said, you're going to feel better too. So when he, finished, when he came out the rest of him, I said, how your leg feel? He said, it felt better. It felt better. <laughs> now I trust it feel better. But I believe it did because even the next morning when he got up, I said, how's your leg feel? He said, it feels better. So I'm just saying, I believe it felt better. If, he, if, he, if it didn't feel better, he was lining up with what I said, and it's going to feel better. But in all I, even this morning, I said, how'd you like it? He said, and I believe it felt better because he was limping. But I'm saying it to say, it just takes little things. We think it's something big. When you hear of somebody going through something, just release a, a word of prayer. Because when you release that prayer, you're releasing God's command upon that, uh, upon that situation. Don't be ashamed or don't be shy to pray for people. Even if they're in the grocery store, you know, say you don't have, like I said, you don't have to pray all down the vegetable aisle at tongue. Just pray and release God, release God in them. Amen. Amen. So I just want to encourage us to continue to pray that this is a praying time, and I really want to encourage you on our on 
in our next 14 days, say 14 days. 14. We have 14 days as we're in our fast. This is the 26th day. We have 14 more days until we go. Press into God these last 14 days. I know somebody been messing up and having uh, aced it, but you had the power to fast. Yes, Amen. You have the power over food. Mm -hmm. Amen. Break it down. Amen. You had the power. You really have power. Yeah. And we have to pull our flesh in. Amen. Because our flesh wants what it wants, but it doesn't need what it wants. Right. Right. And it wants too much. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Somebody was trying to bless me with a pie there. I said, I don't, I said, don't be no harm. I don't want no pie. I'm cleaning out the refrigerator. I don't want it. Give it to somebody else. Yeah, because you be you be eating it because you know it's there. Yes. Amen. So I really want to encourage us by the Spirit of God. As we um how many people have, I'm telling you, I've seen how many people have been seeing some breakthroughs since you've been on your fast? Amen. You've been seeing breakthroughs, you've been seeing things change and happen. Yes. And it's been really good. Uh -huh. yes. And if you haven't seen some things, continue pressing in. Don't stop. Amen. If do uh commit to either six AM to six PM, mm -hmm. six PM to six AM. I want to see us get as a church, as a ministry. Worldwide global ministry. I want to see us get as excited about the things of God right. as the world gets over Black Friday shopping day. Seriously. I want us to be such a ministry and such a body that when, even though our flesh doesn't want it, but I want us to be so, when, when I should call a fast or God puts up on my heart to fast, that we get so excited this about this. Oh my God, if the Lord is saying fast, what is God going to do? Amen. What is he trying to bring me to? What, what does he want to, I want us to get that excited because the world God is, is excited. There, and I want to see the body really get excited. Not so much, but to see what God, what does God want to do? What does God want to release? What does God want to change? Because when we're excited about the things of God and we're excited about God, we will excite other people. Right. I had a girl come into my store, a young girl, a real pretty girl today. She was in the store and we were just talking. I was just sharing some things with her. So I gave her a flyer and invited her to the ministry. And she said, well, she said, I want to come. She said, I really want to come. We had good exchange and I was, I was encouraging her and her business. And I said, well, don't, you know, if you feel like this in your business, I said, don't let nobody pull you out of what you feel. I said, because that's what it's, and I can tell she just was eating it up because she said, wow. She said, because I talked to somebody else and they didn't get it. I said, no, if God gave you that business, it's for you to get it and you navigate it. And I gave her some other testimonies of people that I've spoken to their business. And so I gave her a fly. We just were talking real casual. And she said, I, I want to come. She said, because I like talking to you. She said, I'm not a religious person. I'm a spiritual person, whatever that meant. But just sowing seeds. You never know where God, people are looking. You never know who's mother or, or a father has been praying for her that somebody would oh connect God. with her and Amen. get her on the right track. Amen. You don't have to be right. churchy. You ain't got to quote a hundred scriptures. Amen. I'm telling you the biggest way we witness to people that are not saved is just by being nice. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> just being nice. Just being normal and being nice. It speaks volumes. So I'm through. Let's give God a hand of praise.